Some kind of email is here. Should I check it? I I I, I didn't I didn't get a chance to. Hello, folks. Like I didn't get the choice if I want to check it. I just Dave just checked it for me. Hello folks, this is the Blue Hole Tourism Committee. According to the National Weather Service, at a storm will ha. Hello folks, this is the Blue Tourism Committee. According to the National Weather Service, a storm will hit the Blue Hole hard for three days. And amazingly, people have started to report sightings of a variety of sharks roaming the coast, uh, coastal areas. The comet has decided to utilize this opportunity and release a new tourism product. It's called the Storm Shark Party. I heard about that one before. I think it was newly released with one of the updates. This is also another thing uh, to say about this game. They are doing frequent upgrades, which is kind of nice. Dear store owners, do not miss this opportunity to, re to rack up revenue. We have a special breed of sharks sighted as well. Blue, uh, Blue Hole Tourism Committee. Nice. Which is actually kind of good because I'm focusing on sharks almost all the time anyway. So I should have a lot of sharks to surf right away. Let's see. Yeah, you are hungry. You need two shrimps. Or oh, two lobsters? I don't even know what I'm feeding that creature. And I also need to play with you a little bit. Um. I'm not even... I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know why I lectured it. I just felt like it needs some training. with this anyway in the long run. Okay, Cookstar, and you... Wow, it's a sc uh, scary fish, but it grow uh, got a gentle flavor. Lovely. Uh, you can eat well and still lose weight. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's something you can do. The sweet and sour gets your appetite going. <laughs> why is this... Why is the focus on Yu Yui? And why does he get 2,000 likes? Well... I can guess why. Vincent is still eating it, even after filming has stopped. He must have really liked it. A rank up gift from Eco Watcher. He <laughs> nice because the work I'm doing. Okay, but I guess there's nothing really new here. But before that, I really just want to try out if I can fight the most dangerous creature down here. And it's just the most dangerous creature because I don't know if I can hit it. If I can... If I can actually do anything against it. I mean, it would be way too easy if I can just put it to sleep. And then let the drone pick it up. I mean, that would be quite nice. Please, 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 please. That... That is very fortunate. That is really... That is really good. Okay, now I just got the entire shark for the next upcoming shark event. I guess that counts as a shark. And it wasn't even dangerous. <laughs> Weapon upgrade comes before that. The best rifle. 80 damage, 13 bullets. So if, if I upgrade this one, it will be bad. It will be good. I will do a lot. New materials. Part with old material. <laughs> Couldn't he have stayed in his fish form? I would have liked that more if he would have stayed in his fish form. Okay, now I have a golden rifle. That's... that's pretty neat. Gun. Golden rifle. Death rifle. A deadly gun that delivers a critical blow. It has a chance to instantly kill its target. Chance for insta-kill 30% does not apply to bosses. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Of course it doesn't, but okay, now we... 
Now we hit hard. Maybe let's me let me just see. Um if I can't for example the sniper rifle. Yeah, I already looked it up. Cuttle uh, cuttlefish skin fragment. I don't feel like hunting down cuttlefish. Okay, now I'm strong. Already? Alex the fish fryer. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is Yui from NDC Station. Mm. Good to see you again. I'm Vincent Yamako. <laughs> Here he is, appearing out of nowhere again. What? The previous episode of Challenge the Chef was as hot as molten lava. It was truly an interesting development. And in today's episode, a new challenger appears. Let me introduce you to Alex Cooper, Cookstar's platinum rank chef from the United Kingdom. It's Gordon Ramsay. It's Gordon Ramsay, of course it would be. Of course it's Gordon Ramsay. Oh. I... I would love to give him like a really loud and screaming voice the entire time. But I really don't feel like doing that today. Um, I'm also not good with an English accent. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I will just read him out normally. He's he's the blood of the king down. He will just... Uh, you must be the sushi chef who beat Wang Pang in the last competition, yes. <laughs> I expected a fancier restaurant than this. Your establishment is humble indeed. Ooh, ooh, the challenger is provoking the champion. This will be an exciting match. Today's theme is... Fry the Sea. Both Japanese, Japan and the United Kingdom are popular for their fried dish fishes. Fried dishes. Their dishes may look similar, but are authentic each in their own way. What? Whose dish will please the plate of Vincent the judge? Can you guess the winner? Oh. Your mouth is watering already. <laughs> like before, we will give you two days. I repeat, you have two days to compete. Oh. Dear audience, this match will be fire. Oh. Stay tuned and see what transpires in today's Change the Chef. Now leave. Was he just pointing the finger at us? The finger? Yeah. It is an easy view. It is an easy one this time. Your fried sea bream or black tiger shrimp will win the day easily. My choice is deep sea fish. But why? They are well known recipes, and I don't want to just replicate the taste. I took up the kitchen knife to explore the new ingredients and taste the sea. The flesh of deep sea fish is usually soft and galatious. I will try. I will fry it and harden it to add flavor and texture. But you're not familiar with deep sea fish recipes. What if Vincent doesn't like your dish? Don't worry. The cook. I will cook the best deep sea fish. A deep sea dish. Today's main ingredients are cookie cutter shark, vampire squids, and binocular f uh, binocular fish. The, the lineup is quite ambitious. Well, I trust you. I trust your hunch, Bencho. I will try to secure that. Whose fried food is better? I already have all of them. I already have all of them. Oh, that's such a blessing. But okay, I can't. I can't put cookie cutter shark. I can't put vampire squid, and I can't cook. Uh, and I shouldn't cook with kelp. Okay, I need those. <laughs> I have so much meat of that. I will definitely enhance it. Especially for because there's a festival about to happen. I'm sorry, I will skip this. Just... I will definitely go down and catch another one of those, so... It shouldn't be too bad to enhance it another time. Okay, let's put this one on the menu, just because. Um, okay, I can't put this one on the menu, but I need, like, everything. There, there are a few dishes that I shouldn't put on the menu right now. Um, like, everything with the bow tie, because it's shark. 
what do I use? What do I do? This is not one that I need, is it? Nope. So I can serve those, I guess. They should also sell for a high price. <laughs> I have Sea Dragon. That's kind of mean. I'm using Sea Dragons for the. I'm using Sea Dragons for the. Uh, you know, Sea Horse Racing. So let's put on, put on a little bit of crap as well, I guess. Really not putting, uh, really not paying attention to what I'm serving right now. Don't want to serve shark meat, which is very unfortunate because it's probably the best mid dishes that I have. But I want all of those dishes to be. Let's just put those on. Yeah, today is a little bit of a low menu, but I guess it's okay. I guess I have the exact 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 uh, sushi, which sells for a good price. Okay, I guess I don't need to do anything anymore. Just open up. Okay, focus today. Cleaning. I definitely need to clean more. Because last time a lot of people were unhappy that it wasn't clean. And of course, also there, dirt. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. More dirt. Way more dirt. They couldn't serve the beer because I was busy. Okay, I need to enhance my my stuff a little bit more. The cooks are fast enough, but oh damn it! No wasabi left. Uh, I'm failing. I'm failing the restaurant. Cleaning. Okay, yeah, I definitely need. I need to develop my people a little bit more. Once again, not another five star night. So sad. Ah, quite the skilled chef. Nice new commentary. Okay, that wasn't a good night. That seemed profitable enough. Yeah, 3,000 is plenty. 4.2? That was a bad day. Okay, but now I should be able to go... Yeah. Now the shark festival starts. Ah, we barely managed to... We barely managed to cut it. It's very thick and through, and so it is large enough now for a person to go through. Come down here. Where or when you're ready. Finally, I'm in the control room. It's common sense to clear all the mission, the missions before fighting the la the boss in an RPG. This is not an RPG game, but being overly prepared doesn't hurt, huh? Okay. Interesting message I got there. So I guess we are in the end game now. He definitely needs two shrimps. I will check it up either way. Yeah. Two shrimps. And a little bit of playing. Okay, now it's the other game again. <gasps> no way, it's on the right. It has never been on the right before. This is this this is This is incredible. Okay, what do I want to do now? The the shark event started. A seed ring on nigiri. Where else could you be able to eat it? Well, we it's Oh, or the other one I already liked. Okay. Just one more just one more post, I guess. I think I should be well prepared to end the game or to go into the last boss fight as Dave mentioned. Um 
should I afford... I guess I should afford another time. Uh, more oxygen. Just... Yeah, it's a health upgrade. Health upgrade are, are never bad. But I guess I want to dive down from the top just to see if there are many sharks. Or how many sharks especially there are right now. And I mean, I have the golden rifle now. It shouldn't hurt. But I definitely want to go to the glacier passage. Gl glacial passage now. I don't want to dive down another two times without... Um, without having at least tried to go into the last room. Okay, thus far it doesn't really look like there are many more sharks here. And obviously I will not search through the entire map. I will just look a little bit through the environment. And if there's nothing there, I will just go further down. But I thought... Yes, I saw something here. Okay, 30%. You're fast. 30% chance to one hit. Okay. 30% chance to one hit. That was the one hit. That's what I call a one hit wonder. Nice. I'm actually saving up on bullets so much this way. I mean, the gun makes 92. Damage. They don't have a red marker above their head, so I didn't know that they were hostile. Bad. <laughs> But yeah, I'm saving up so many, so many bullets with, so many bullets with the, just the chance of one hitting anything. I mean, it really only helps in fights. Maybe it's even, uh, maybe it's even a downgrade in some way that I can one shot enemies because, well, wait, it does lightning. It's just as good as my harpoon right now, and it does lightning damage, so I will definitely take it. But yeah, one-hitting uh, creatures might not always be an advantage. Especially if I want to just use the gun to weaken other fishes without really killing them. Like, every time I'm shooting a fish and then I'm opening it. I will be scared of one-shotting them now. Right, a brief shark can't hurt. Especially for the meals. This this is just... This is just all I did in Dave the Diver. This entire playthrough, I feel like. I all the time just went out and killed sharks. <laughs> I am a terrible person. Yep. My favorite. Enjoy this. <laughs> they were so tough in the beginning, and now I don't even need the benefit of my gun because I'm just two shotting everything almost. Okay, I mean, I have to admit, in many cases, most of the sharks were also just three hits, but yeah, I still like how strong I am. Okay, let's see if there if there is another hammerhead shark. Down where the squid, the giant squid used to be. If I can't even find the area where the uh, the giant squid used to be, if I can't even find this yellow ship, oh there it is, nice. Another weapon upgrade, or another weapon? I hope it's an upgrade. Nope, it's literally useless. Okay, let's just see. There's always the opportunity for something interesting to be down here. What? Like those? Yeah, there he is. Another mad shark, nice. But my... I don't have a clean shot. Perfect. <laughs> oh, that's so good. 
And I mean, the last weapon upgrade for the golden gun wasn't even as tedious to find as the upgrade before that. <laughs> that was easy, I just needed to have a little bit money and then farm. I guess there's a creature? <laughs> Mayonnaise, okay, nice. Wait, no, you are just a Marlin. I don't really need you. But you attack me. That was so close. Uh, what? I would have never guessed that this this thing could stand a chance against me. Okay, bad part now is I don't have space in my inventory anymore. <laughs> I mean, at this point, I can just go straight down because there obviously aren't any more sharks down here. Um. Like, I still want to get the, the new one. The shark in the ventral area. I still want to get a lot of meat from this one. Um, in the event I will have way too much shark meat, I guess. But I don't really need another Mega Mouse shark. I think I have enough. Perfect. This is the best thing that I could have hoped for. Oh, the ground. It's rumbling again. It's getting more intense. I should quickly go down to the control room. Yeah, but before that I want to f find... I want to take care of another friend. Maybe I should have picked up so many sharks that are in the surface area because those down here give a lot more... They are a lot more beneficial. And I should have enough meat of those fish up at the surface level anyway. Are they all gone again? Once again, there isn't. There's nothing around. That's disappointing. Just because there's another event happening, I guess. Oh, there he is. I can't forget that I'm not fast. <laughs> Easy enough. <laughs> Once again. Camera. I take a photo. Which I maybe will mess up again. Okay, this thing is a lot faster than I anticipated. Nice! But I got it! Wow, isn't that a cool? What, uh, what they can, what they call all living fossil? I can't believe it still exists in an ancient form like this. Who do I really like this? More money! Okay, but before I go even further down. I just want to see if I can get some useful items. Like, I definitely want to have something that... to speed myself up a little bit. And if I can pick up another weapon on the, in the process, I won't mind. Or a better weapon. Like an upgraded version of my weapon. Poison. Okay, that's almost... that's pretty much everything I wanted. That's everything I need. <laughs> no, 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 no. I will flash my light at you. I will flash my light at you. I'm warning you. Okay. I just saw that I had the flashlight and I was like, I will use that one. I can't really use anything else because I want all my 13 bullets. I want the sleeping harpoon. I want the speed up. Let's just quickly look a little bit to the other side as well. This is a lot more than for a human to pass through. Just want to see a little bit more if I can maybe pick up a few more useful items. 
not those stones because I think they are pretty heavy. Ouch. Oh, I gave away my knife. That was so stupid. Why did I give away my knife for a baseball tip? It was just muscle memory because I would always give away my knife, but my knife is the best melee weapon I'm having right now. By now. Like, it was pretty useless in the beginning, but by now, mining materials and doing a good amount of damage with melee attacks. That was the knife for you. Okay, let's see. Hopefully it's an upgrade. Freezing could be quite good against the boss fight. I'm pretty sure that I can't sleep it anyway. I mean, I probably also can't freeze it, but... Still, I like to have it. Why did I give away my knife for a baseball bat? That was so useless. <laughs> what was I thinking? Okay, but let's head away. Let's go for the last boss. There aren't even that many missions more for me to go. Like, I think I've done everything that I really want to do. Like, okay, of course, we have the next VIP, we have the next Compete the Chefs or whatever it was called. We have the Shark event. But... I'm th I'm, I think I'm okay to go. Now... You'll be able to go in. I feel hot air coming out from the inside. Well, that is not a good sign. Be careful. <laughs> I was like, why is the fish in focus right now? Is it going to take the drone away? But I guess it's just present. Oh, th that said, there was this one like scratching noise and I thought this would start in into a really sick beat. But... I guess not. <gasps> the roots have severely mutated. The door is blocked by tree sap. There should be a way to go inside. I was like, if the game is now sending me away again. <laughs> like if the game is once again like, oh, okay, we need another two days to, to dig ourselves through. I would be so mad. Okay, right. I probably need... A stone or something that I can pick up. <laughs> I was thinking like there is no rock. Can I pick up this creature? And yes I can. I kind of can't believe that I'm saying this, but I kind of miss one. The like co-op passages was were really fun. Alright, I passed it. That was to be expected. No, the path is cut off. Other paths are blocked by this tree sap as well. A sea scorpion, a mutant divine tree fruit. This is terrible. I must somehow find a way. Honestly, being locked up underwater is probably one of the most scary thing that ever can happen to one. Yeah, yeah, hitting against it was probably not the best decision. Can I just shoot those? I probably could if I would hit. I mean, they're giving me bullets. They, there are so many. I don't enjoy this. Several enemies are the worst in every game, but in this game it's particularly worse. It's particularly bad. And I'm overloaded. Uh, what I want to get away, give away. Guess I don't need the white hip reef shark. <laughs> Honestly. I also don't really need that much tiger shark. I guess having a few of those sea scorpions will prove more useful. I'm pressing the wrong button. I knew it. I 
I was probably supposed to use that already against the scorpions, but that's better. Oh, I can pop this app using the mutated divine tree fruit. What if I drop the mutated divine tree fruit onto the door I saw earlier? I mean, is this like my notice that I need to carry them with me now? Please don't. Mm. The hydrothermal vent is blocking the door. Is there any way to stop the water jet? Sorry, little guy. But okay, I'm not required to take the the tree fruits all the way with me. Poor creatures. Guys, it's been stopped. I better pass it. I better pass it before it moves again. Those poor creatures. It must be so hot. This creature is spoiled by now. Yeah, go away. Mm. Huh. It's a massive crater. Out <laughs> uh, to the, uh, the top wall looks loose. <laughs> it may collapse as the crater erupts a little higher. Thank you. Yeah, of course it would be this kind of riddle. Okay, but I need to be fast about this. So first I will pick up the one up here. So they are all close to one another. This was actually quite nice. I actually want to drop it on the vent. This is actually quite nice that uh, they sh have shown you what to do with the one craft going onto the Geysir, Geysir first. And then also walking off it again. Okay, but I can't... I was like, did I break it now? Okay, but I can be close to it. Come on. I already had that problem once. With like the Divine Tree Fruit minigame. The other one is waking up. Oh. No. Honestly. Oh, thank God. Oh, that was a little bit annoying. I'm not gonna lie. Well, that surely was something. Mm. Oh, yeah, so cool. I should bring the divine tree fruit here. Or there, I don't know. I didn't really read it, what he said. <laughs> Come on, pull it out. Nice. I mean, I have a lot of time with those. Not too much time, but a lot of time. The door is open. It looks spooky inside. Should be careful. I mean, at least you have a headlamp, so that should help. And how is this a tree control room? Aren't those pretty much just roots? Why is it always going back to the lantern when I'm entering a new room? This is kind of annoying. Should be able to do this, yeah. I don't want to use my speed up uh, item. As long as I'm not in a boss fight, because against a boss fight, I probably will definitely need it. Ouch. Okay, I thought I would be safe, but nope, I wasn't. thinking that maybe I want to clog up the middle first. Uh, but I think I wouldn't have enough time for that. They can't leave? 
That's so mean. Okay, this is kind of dangerous. I knew that this would happen. This is kind of dangerous. Okay, and the last one I can just pass at this point, I guess. I'm pretty much about to die. <laughs> Can I please get another oxygen? In the beginning of the last room there was oxygen. Wow, that music. Oh, what are those gross looking eggs? Are they attached to the divine tree fruit? What are those? Strange creatures have hatched from the eggs. Wait, those creatures. I've seen them in one of the sea people murals. Alright. Engine once told me that an ancient engineer altered creatures by infusing the divine tree energy. These may be creatures. They have survived for such a long period of time. Still breathing. Oh, I don't know what's happening. You tell me what's happening, honestly. Okay, I can't catch those. I'm playing a little bit with the devil right now, with not taking up the oxygen right away. Um, but I kind of want to take the oxygen when I'm really in need of it. Or at least when I've cleared the room. Okay, is there anything more in here that I need to shoot? Probably? Okay, I should definitely take the bullets with me. I should definitely take the bullets. Um, because I probably will never re-enter this room again. Okay, but those little creatures were easy enough to fight. <laughs> I don't know if they would be one hit with every rifle or every weapon that you have. But my pistol pretty much one-shotted them. Maybe they take like exactly 100 damage. <laughs> would be awesome. And you stay up here now. Don't move. And please don't mind the dangerous creatures that are breeding behind you. Another one of those riddles. <laughs> There's actually one healthy divine tree fruit in here, and I will take it out. There are even more eggs here. They, they look like they're ready to hatch, but I can't go back now. There are quite some eggs here. There's a door here. If I could melt the mucus over it, covering the door. There's an ancient divine tree fruit. Should I put it in the divine tree fruit device? I mean, what else can I do? Now, this is the part of the game that I don't really like. It's telling you too much. Like, I would kind of like to figure stuff as obvious as that. I would sometimes like to figure that out myself. Fire! Good. The contraption is, con contraption is working. Maybe I, maybe I can melt the mucus by projecting the light from the divine tree fruit. There's the first wave! Oh no. The eggs are hatching. I need to get rid of them before I can melt the mucus. Awesome. Okay, but they also die from the laser, so... Let's try to save up a little bit on bullets. Oh! Uh, but, 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 what, what am I... Okay, that wasn't good. They do a lot of damage. Phew. Was it the last one of them? Then we melt the mucus covering the door. Um. How? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I can, yep. <laughs> this is how I was supposed to do it, I get it. Uh, more eggs are hatching. Again, I need to get rid of them before, uh, before doing anything else. Honestly, this is fun enough. 
Ooh. They're growing in our mind, must open the door and escape. Please don't say something every time that happens now. Like, I get it. I need to melt the door a little bit. They are hatching. I need to uh, melt the door more. Oh, God, more hatching. This time I will eliminate them once and for all. Okay, this seems to be the last wave of them. Okay, I can't hit that. Uh, maybe I will just leave it as it is right now. And then just shoot everything that still gets through. Maybe I should have just positioned it that way from the beginning. <laughs> I just don't, didn't want to waste any bullets. <sighs> that should be the last of them. I'm a squeaky man. Yeah, I get it. I need to melt the ice on the door. Everything is okay, Dave. Thank God that really believe me. I know what I'm supposed to do by now. Nice. The mucus is all gone. It must be the core, core of the control room over there. Let's find out what it is. Ah, uh, you just guessed that? <laughs>